Hello, 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 everybody. Hi. So, it's Friday night. Oh, yeah. Painting Amish country tonight. Yes, we are. So, my name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party. And welcome to the fam. Oh, yeah. Here we are. So, if you're painting with me tonight, say hello, hello, hello. And if anyone's painting with you, definitely say hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All right. So, let's meet the Mr. Butters. Because he'll probably be chiming in one time or another. So, we got to give him his props. Oh, yeah. Let's give props to the puppy. There he is. There's the Mr. Butters. Say hi to your fans, Butters. Say hi. Say hello. Where you going? Where you going, buddy? Where you going, huh? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> so, there's my little man. So, he might be chiming in. Hello, Ruth from Puerto Rico. Hi, sweetheart. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, 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 everybody. So let's go over the weapons this evening. We will be using a bigger boy. He is a one inch flat. We have a mini me, if I can grab a hold of it. He looks just like big boy, except he's smaller, using a brand new brush tonight. Oh yeah, if you want these brushes, brand spanking new. They're in my kit. So he looks just like big boy, except he's really small. We have Tiny in the house. Tiny is a small round brush. There's Fluffy. We're using a medium sized Fluffy tonight. And the old beat up bristly brush, he'll do fine. And of course, Mr. Nifty is in the house. So if you like a Mr. Nifty, brand spanking new, of your very, very own, I'm sending them out free with you guys' support and tips. I really appreciate it. So as a thank you, Mr. Nifties are on their way. So you wanna keep all these brushes in your water and you only clean them when I instruct you to, which is a swirl, a tap, a dab on your paper towel. You wanna dab in the shape of the bristles and you want them to be wet, but not dripping. All right, so we're gonna put all of those in the water, except Mr. Nifty. Mr. Nifty doesn't like to sit in the water. He likes to be special. So we're gonna leave him out and I'm gonna pour my paint and I hope you guys are getting your supplies together. Say hello, 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 so we can do roll call. You know I like roll call. It's one of my favorite things to do. So make sure I don't miss anybody. So I'm gonna put you guys in your handy dandy holder. I'm gonna pour the paint, same paint every single party and uh, we'll get this thing started. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is, Amish country. So I can't show you both at once. So if you need a reference, take a screenshot. Here's your opportunity. I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas. We're holding it straight up and down tonight. So it's 16 across, 20 up and down. If you're working on something smaller, just, you know, as long as you're in the general area of your canvas that I'm in, you will be fine because I go like one hand down, two hands over, just to dust accordingly. Hey, hey, Doreen, welcome, welcome, welcome. Doreen from North Bay, how you do, how you doing tonight? Hello, Cheryl from Minnesota. Hello, 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 everybody. So, let's see if I I'm trying to plug you guys in so you stay charged. Are you getting a little shock? We're getting a little shock there, a little shock, shock, shock treatment. <laughs> <laughs> hello Cheryl hello 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 everybody I hope everybody's doing well this Friday evening so we got Doreen from North Bay we got Ruth from Puerto Rico we've got Cheryl Minnesota in the house welcome back Cheryl how you doing tonight love pretty good pretty good I hope so I'm writing you all down so I don't miss anybody so make sure you say hello and we'll get this thing started. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pouring my paint, people. Hope you're doing the same. Hope you're getting your stuff together. I hope everybody's having an awesome Friday night. And thank you so much for joining me tonight. Painting as part of the fam. Oh yeah. So, all of my videos are kid friendly, so please stay aware of that in your commentary tonight. All right, so every single video is kid friendly. And yes, replays are available. They, will, they are all on my YouTube channel. I posted the link on the event page. 
so you guys can find all of the replays. Kelly's at an outdoor art show. Kelly, that's amazing. I hope you're seeing some awesome pieces of work. Hello, Kelly. I guess Kelly's watching the replay. Kelly's going to be watching the replay. And I told you Butters will be saying hello. <laughs> the neighbor was nice enough to offer to mow my lawn for me. So that is going on as we speak. So I'm sure we're going to hear Mr. Butters speak a lot more than we'd like to. <laughs> there he goes. But that was awesome and amazing of my neighbor to do that. So, hello, Denise. Denise from Virginia. Awesome Friday. <laughs> All right, Kelly, I'll make sure. I'll catch you on the replay. All right, so we have Denise from Virginia. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, guys, so we're going to get this thing started. Let me know when you guys are ready, Freddy Spaghetti. I'm going to get my cup of java together, and uh, we'll start a painting. We'll start a painting. So, if I miss a comment from you guys, my sincerest apologies. I've been noticing that lots of times um, that your comments are coming up after the live instead of like when you actually post them. So I will try my best to make sure that I acknowledge every comment on there. But sometimes they don't they just don't show up. They don't show up till after the fact. So my apologies for that. So if you ask me something and I'm not answering. <laughs> Alright, Cheryl. She's doing good. So if you ask me something and I'm not answering. That's probably because I didn't see it. All right, so same paint. Every single party, white, yellow, red, blue, and black. So there you guys go. All right, so we got a Ready Freddy Spaghetti. We got some likes. We got some thumbs up. I like it. I like it a lot. I got my Java all ready to rock and roll, so now I can actually paint. <laughs> got my Java juice. Need the job juice. Got to keep it running. Got to keep the engines running. Oh, yeah. Okay, so take your screenshot if you need it. All right, there you go. And we're going to get started. Oh, the almighty blank canvas. Oh, it's so scary. It's so scary, but no reason to be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. As long as you're doing what I'm doing, I'll get you there. I promise. I promise. And if you ever have any questions during this video, you just let me know. Uh, hi, Penny. Penny, prayers to you again, sweetheart. I hope everything's going well. Everybody, make sure you send your prayers towards Penny. Penny has, uh, if I remember correctly, an infection so we have to send prayers her way prayers to you love prayers 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 to you love absolutely six thousand percent six thousand percent okay so we're gonna swirl tap that big boy we're starting this show off a big boy that's what we're doing and we're gonna grab our white and our blue now, you guys can make your sky any way you want to. I'm making mine uh, light blue, right? So, we're just going to start off, and we're just going to go straight across. That's all we're doing. All we're doing, blue and white, blue and white. You can make your sky as dark or as light as you'd like it. It's your sky. You can even make a sunset sky if you want to. Like I said, it's your sky. So, you're going to bring this blue and white about a little above halfway. All right, a little bit above halfway, okay? So, just painting blue and white, everybody. If you're painting and you're getting this, grab more paint. If you're painting and you're getting those little little suckers right there, one end to the other, smooth them out. Smooth them out. Yes. So, it was 70 and sunny in New Jersey, South New Jersey today. I am actually wearing shorts. Oh, I didn't put my apron on. 
That means a mess is a coming if I don't put my apron on. So let me, I have to do that. I have to put my apron on, guys. I have to make this official. Hi, Barrichello. Yes, replays are always, always available. And um, they're, def they're gonna be up on my YouTube channel. And they'll be on my page for a little while too. Nice, so you're on a farm. That's awesome. Hello, Barrichello. How you doing, hon? I hope I'm getting your name right. Hope I'm getting your name right. So, everybody can uh, turn around and thank Miss Kim for this painting. It was her idea. It was her idea to uh, have a horse and buggy and uh, some old school farm equipment to have our little Amish country going on. So we can take we can thank Kim for this amazing idea. Guys, if you have uh, any ideas of what you'd like to paint, let me know. Let me know. I I write them all down. I write them all down and I try to do my best to to give you guys paintings that you want to do and you'll enjoy. Awesome. Thank you. I'll watch along tonight. Actually, this is my old account. My cat's names. <laughs> Hi, Punky. <laughs> I'm calling you your kitty cat's name. That's hysterical. <laughs> that is hysterical. All right, Punky. Catch you on the replay, hun. Catch you on the replay. All right. Blue and white, guys. Blue and white. That's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What we're doing. What we're doing. You can make your sky as dark as you like, as you like it. Completely up to you. It's your sky. A guardian angel. I did one, Penny. I did an angel painting. We did an angel painting. Uh, when did we do the angel painting? Anybody remember? Anybody remember when we did the angel painting? I think it was February. I think it was a Valentine's Day thing. Because the angel is holding a heart. So you got to look at the past videos, Penny. It's definitely there. We definitely did one. Definitely, definitely did one. You joined our fam after the fact. It's back in February. I know that much. You know that much. It's definitely back in, the fe in February's videos. Okay. So once you guys have that going on, then I want you to start grabbing some yellow with your blue and white. So, and what are we making? We're making green, all right? So you're gonna grab some more blue, you're gonna grab your white, and you're gonna grab yellow. So make sure you don't plunk in the center. Just pull from the sides, this way you don't waste your whole pile of paint. Okay, guys? So what I want you to do is you're gonna start from this end, and you're very simply, once you get towards the center, you're gonna swoop that down. You're gonna swoop that down. So you're gonna start from the one end, and as you go towards the center, just swoop that down. All right, so now I'm just grabbing yellow. Grabbing yellow with my blue paint, a little bit of yellow. We want this to be uh, a little dark. We want this green to be a little dark. Okay, so we're filling in this piece right here. Just pulling the paint down, that's all I'm doing. I'm just pulling the paint down. Okay, so you start from your side and you swoop it right in the center, swoop. Swoop right in the center. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. Okay. Hey, Jackie! Ha, ha rump Nevada. I like it. <laughs> hey, hey, Jackie. Welcome, sweetheart. Awesome. Awesome sauce. This one's going to be fun. This one's going to be fun. We didn't uh, start very much. Blue and white, and then we started adding yellow. Okay. <laughs> Once you have that side in, once you have that side in, you're going to grab your blue, and you're going to grab your white, and you just want to start grabbing more yellow. Okay, so more white and more yellow. And once you get that on your brush, you want to come in from this side, right? You want to come in from this side, and then you're going to swoop in front of the other one. So you want this green to be a little lighter. You want it to be a little lighter, so you're grabbing some more yellow and some more white. 
Grab in some more yellow and some more white because you want that this hill to be lighter in color. Okay? You want this hill to be lighter in color. There's the butters. Told you. Told you. I told you. Told you he was going to be chiming in. It's because the neighbor's uh, the neighbor's nice enough to be mowing my lawn right now. I'm highly allergic, highly allergic to fresh cut grass. Highly, highly allergic. Okay. So once you have that in, as you work your way down, I want you to grab more and more yellow in in your paint. So, you're grabbing blue and white and yellow, but as you work your way down, I want you to grab more and more yellow. I want you to grab more and more yellow as you work your day down. And you can just, uh, you can just soften this out. You can just soften this out where the two meet. That's fine. It doesn't matter. As long as you can tell it's two separate hills, it's all good. So... Working your way down, just grab more and more yellow. More and more yellow, that's what you want to do. And if you happen to get a big blue blob like I just did, it's okay. Just grab some white and grab some yellow and blend it right out. Blend it right out. Easy peasy. It's all good. It's all good. So, Jackie, you've been looking forward to this? That's awesome. That's awesome. So, if it's still not light enough for you, just grab just plain yellow paint. Just grab paint. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, Jackie? So, you got two chihuahuas, Oscar and Gloria. Nice. Yeah, they like to bark. They like to bark a lot. I had a chihuahua once. His name was Tiger. He was awesome. He was like a little ladies' man. He always flirted with all the girls. Okay, so one end to the other. We'll smooth and blend this together very nicely. Just one end to the other. One end to the other. So we did, um, Jackie, if you'd like, I did a how-to video on uh, how to paint dogs. It was um, just last week. So if you go on my YouTube channel, that's where the video is. And one of the dogs I painted was a Chihuahua. So, if you'd like to learn how to paint your little devils, you can find that on my how-to videos. Every Tuesday, I do how-to Tuesdays. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what we do, how-to Tuesdays. So, this Tuesday, I was under the weather with my allergies. But last Tuesday, we did doggies. We did doggy, 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 doggies. Oh, yeah. And they were a lot of fun. They were definitely a lot of fun. So, like I said, I'm just grabbing uh, a lot of yellow at this point and a little bit of blue and a little bit of white. That's all I'm doing. I'm filling in the rest of the canvas. Filling in the rest of the canvas. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So, and then just smooth it on out. If you like it all blended together, keep brushing over it. If you like the separation of color, you just stick and move. You just stick and move and leave it alone. Okay? That's all. You just stick and move. And I'm going to come back up here and do this mountain a little bit better because... You can't really see it. You can't see the line between the horizon and the and the hill. So I'm just going to put that in a little bit better for myself. I kind of blended it into the blue a little too much. A little too much. So I am just going to go in and grab my blue and white and my yellow. Make sure I'm keeping it lighter than the, uh, than the other one. I'm just putting that in a little bit better because that kind of blended out, blended out with my sky. So that's all I'm doing right now, you know, and if you guys need to do the same, go ahead, go ahead. 
Now, if you need to do the same, go right ahead. There you go. So, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to grab some brown paint. So, I'm going to show you how to make brown paint real fast. Oh, you're welcome, Jackie. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I, if I could find the paint, if I could find the practice, I'll, I'll show it to you. Show it to you. Okay, so once you have your two hills and your nice yellow grass in the front, we're going to make some brown. Okay, so I'm going to take this uh, mess I have here of my blue, my yellow, and my white, and I'm just going to grab some red. I'm going to grab some red and add that to that. And as I mix this all up, I'm probably going to get like a purple color because there's a lot of blue in this pile. So I'm going to add more yellow to it. I'm going to add more yellow to it. So I'm just making a brown. I'm just making a brown. So making a brown, I had blue, yellow, white, and red. So now it's looking a little green, so I'm going to grab more red. I'm going to grab more red. That's all. So if it's looking purple, grab more yellow. If it's looking green, grab more red. And you just keep mixing it together. You just keep mixing it together and eventually you will get a brown color. I promise you, you will. You will get a brown color. Alright, so there you go. There's our brown. There it is. Alright, so now that I have my brown, I want to turn around and I want to go where this this hill is swooping and I'm going to start small and then get bigger and bigger as I go along so I want to go down towards the end of this hill right here I'm going to hold my brush sideways and I'm going to do a little back and forth motion just like that and I'm going to start small and then as I get closer and closer to me and you're working towards this corner of the canvas okay so you want to make sure you're going in that direction so as I work it closer and closer to me, I'm going to make it bigger and bigger. We're going to make it bigger and bigger. So you're going to have to be small. And then we're going to go bigger and bigger. Alright, the way Butters is carrying on, you think it was the end of the world. <laughs> Right? He's just doing his job as a doggy. That's what they do. So, as you work closer and closer to you, you just want to make that bigger and bigger. So, you're going to start off small, going sideways, and then as you work your way towards the corner, make it bigger and bigger. And once you have that, you want to go right across your bottom. Now, this doesn't have to be filled in perfectly brown. It's a dirt road. It's a dirt road, so it doesn't have to be perfectly like filled in and completely brown, 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 brown. You don't have to worry about that. It's a dirt road. It's all right if there's like some green coming through or whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as you got some sort of brown going on, you're fine. You're fine. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so I'm going to give some time for everybody to catch up mustard, especially those that are just popping on now. If you have any questions of what we did so far, um, wasn't very much, <laughs> but it looks great, right? Blue and white, halfway down. Grabbed yellow, made dark green, a little bit of yellow. Grabbed more yellow and white, made a lighter green in front of it. Swooped it into the center, swooped it into the center, worked my way down, adding more and more yellow to my green. Then we made some brown paint with blue, red, yellow, and white. And uh, just did a little zigzag of zoom, making it bigger and bigger. And then on the bottom, you want brown paint going across your bottom. That's it. That's what we did so far. I keep wanting to call you Baricello. Thanks, Punky. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, once you're done with that, we're going to get our fluffy out. 
we're going to get out fluffy. So I got a medium sized fluffy tonight. And I'm just going to smash, 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 smash. I'm going to smash him into my paper towel and make sure he's nice and fluffy. See that? Nice and fluffy. And then we're going to go in and we're going to grab our blue. We're going to grab our yellow. And we're going to grab a little bit of white. Okay. And we're going to come up over on this hill right here. And you're just going to put little dabs. So three sets of dabs. Okay. So dab here, here, and here. Okay. So once you have those in place for yourself, you're just going to mush around. You're just going to mush around. That's all you're doing. And you want to stop. Leave about a finger's worth of space. You want to stop before you hit the hill, okay? So, and you want this going in all sorts of directions. You don't want it to be square. You don't want it to be round. You want it to be like zigzaggy. You want it to be zigzaggy. A little point on top, see that? And then I kind of zigzagged it out. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. Okay, just want to make a little zigzaggy. So a little, little smaller on top. And then you're just going to squish this around. Zigzagging your brush back and forth. And stop before you hit the hill. Stop before you hit the hill. Okay? And when you put your background, you want to make sure that you pull your paint nice and smooth. And just a thin layer. Okay, guys? You don't want any globby layers because then when you paint your other stuff, you're going to wind up with all the colors of your background. All right? So, you're going to put those in. That was easy peasy, right? And then you're going to swirl tap dab big boy and you want to make sure you have clean white paint. All right, so swirl tap that big boy and make sure you have clean white paint. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna go over to my kitchen sink. I'm totally cheating. And don't tell my plumber. <laughs> don't tell my plumber. <laughs> totally put paint in my sink. <laughs> if it's still wet, it's okay. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that, but I do it a lot. But make sure it's just not dry paint. Then you're in big trouble. Big, big trouble. <coughs> big, big, big trouble if it's dry paint. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Camera, camera's a little crooked. It's a little crooked. There we go. Fixed it right up. All right. So, for roll call, I know there's some people out there. You guys are creeping. You guys are creeping. I got Ruth from Puerto Rico. We got Doreen, Cheryl. I got Denise. I got Penny. I got Jackie. We got uh, Punky out there. Kelly's going to be watching the replay. Hey, Lori. Yes, Lori. Always, 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 always uh, replays available. So it's going to be on my YouTube channel. I did post the link to the YouTube. So you guys can find it and it's always available on my page. And if you have time, you have time to catch up mustard if you want to, Lori. That's up to you though. That's up to you. So welcome, sweetheart. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I don't know who else is out there being little creepers. Being little creepers not saying hello. So say hello, 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 everybody. Nancy! Hi, Nancy! Fancy Nancy's here. Yes, blue and white. Blue and white on the top. Halfway down. Grab some yellow, make a dark green. Grab some yellow and white, make a lighter green. More yellow as you work your way down. Made some brown, zigzag that in. 
Dirt Path. Fluffy's a blue. You got Fluffy's, Nancy. Nancy ordered a kit, so I know she has Fluffy's. We're using the medium one. Use the Fluffy to smush in some trees. That's it. And everyone's getting a chance to catch up mustard right now. Plus, I'm uh, giving Butters uh, some time to get it all out of his system. <laughs> Hi, Sheila! How you doing, sweetie? Hello, 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 Sheila! Well, thank you, Sheila. I love watching your live videos. Well, I love that you love watching my live videos. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Nothing but fun and family time going out. That's right. And guys, make sure you give um, prayers and props to Penny, all right? Penny's not feeling well. And Fancy Nancy, I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're doing okay, sweetie. So glad to see you on here. Yes, yes, yes. So glad. So... I had my allergies kicking earlier this week, so I apologize for the Tuesday. So next How To Tuesday is going to be the kitty cats. And um, looking for ideas for Friday paint parties, anything you guys want to see. Someone said Guardian Angel, but I have one of those already. So, any ideas you guys might have, let me know. Let me know. Any ideas you guys might have. Anything you'd like to see. I was thinking about uh, doing something fun for the next one. Flamingos. Sheila with a different one. I haven't done flamingos yet, that's for sure. I'm going to write that down. So I have my little list. I have my, I have to write everything down because I can't remember you know what. <laughs> I got CRS, guys. So there's my How To Tuesday list. And then I have a Paint Party Friday list right here. So I'm definitely writing flamingos on there, Sheila. I like that idea. Definitely like that idea because they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fluffing around. Okay, so since some people were just ketchup mustard with their background, and I want to give this, um, this should be dry before we do the big boy with the white. So let's switch to our tiny brush. We're going to switch to our tiny brush. Tiny in the house. And you're going to grab that brown paint. And right where you did your mushes for your trees, you're going to find the center of your mushes. And you're just going to pull, pull down with some brown paint. Put the trunks in there. All right, so you're just going to pull down from the middle of your mushes. Put some tree trunks in there. All right, so I'm just doing that with a tiny brush and my brown paint that I made. And I want to find like the center of my mushes and follow it down. And I'm just going to put some tree trunks in there. All right, I'm gonna put some tree trunks, and then you can turn around and do um, do some branches. But you're not gonna see all the branches with the smushes, and we're gonna put another layer on this. So you're gonna turn around, and you can just put a line, very random. Let me give you a close up. Meerkats, ooh, Jackie, I like that too. So here's a close up. So I'm just taking my tiny brush, and here, there, not everywhere. I'm putting, like maybe you could see the trunk through it. So I'm putting some lines of the trunk, putting some random branches in. Okay, so they don't have to be all connecty, connecty, connecty. That's that's my new word now. You like that? That's very formal. Connecty, connecty. They don't have to be connecty, connecty. You're just going to put them here, here, there, not everywhere. 
here, there, not everywhere. So there's a little hint of the trunk, putting some squiggles in, right? Just putting some branches in there, just, just squiggling the brush, that's all I'm doing. Make sure you have a nice fine point. And we're just doing this now so everybody has time to catch up mustard with their hills and their grass because we want that part to be dry so I'm just putting in a hint of the trunk going through and I'm gonna put some squiggles in for branches here and there not everywhere just here and there and we're going to go be putting a second layer on this. So if you mess one up, don't worry about it. Because you'll have a chance to cover it. Alright guys, you'll have a chance to cover it. You know I got you. You know I got you as far as making an oopsie. Right? There's no mistakes. That's what Bob Ross says. No mistakes in art. So, we might have whoopsies every once in a while. But it's okay to have a whoopsie. So, if you're just coming on and you're doing your, um, you're doing your, your bottom, that's fine. Don't worry about the tree part. Don't worry about the tree part. You can always add that in. You can add these in later. Right? So, I'm going to put the branches in there. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to grab Big Boy and some white paint. Clean white paint, guys. Clean white paint. Hitting a button on my music. Because this is a party on Fridays. We party, we play music. I got to write beer cats down too. I like that idea too. Thanks, Jackie. Alright, so we're grabbing Big Boy and we're grabbing some clean white paint. Let me back this up so you can see the whole picture so you see where I am. And we're going right over here. So, Big Boy and some clean white paint right on the tip of Big Boy. You don't need a lot at all. Alright, so I'm going to put him in my paint and then I'm going to pull him off on the side here like this. And we're going to come up over here, a little bit off the edge of the canvas, about a couple fingers worth, okay? And you're going to start above your hill, and then just pull whoop, straight down. And then you're going to put another one right next to it. Whoop. So this is your Amish house, so you can make it as big or as small as you want. Alright, so we're just going to pull. Use the flat of that brush, make a nice square for ourselves, or rectangle, or whatever you want to call it here. All right, so I'm going to pull down there, and then we're going to do a little pull, about halfway. Do a little pull about halfway. Now, so you have your square, and then you're going to go about halfway and do another little pull. Right? And then you can take the flat of your brush and you're going to flatten, you know, you're going to pull that nice and straight. And then you're going to pull off of the house a little bit on this side. Okay? Just like that. Just like that. And, and if your background was still a little wet, that's okay. We can throw some more white paint on, onto that uh, later. All right, so you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna do the shape of your barn. We're gonna map out our barn, because red doesn't like to show up without its friend white, so we're gonna make our barn white to start with. So here's the swoop of your hill, and in this square right here, leave some space right here. So right in this general area, right here, 
you're going to do your square for your barn. It's going to be bigger than your house. All right, guys? So, you're going to go about a finger's worth off the edge of your canvas. And you're just going to pull. So, leave space right here because we want to put the plow in there, right? So, don't go too far down. Leave space in there. Okay? And your barn is going to be bigger than your house. And I'm just using that flat of that brush to make it nice and as straight as I possibly can. The faster you pull, the straighter it'll be. The faster you pull, the straighter it'll be. Okay, so we're just putting another little white square there. Okay, using the flat of that brush, make it as square as you can, no worries. No worries if it's not that square. No worries. And then you want to do the triangle top. Okay, so I'm just going to put a swoop this way. And a swoop that way. And it do that doesn't have to be perfect. It's a barn. So it's all right if its roof is a little off to the side. Maybe there's like an eave over here that they keep all the piggies at or something. Who knows? Who knows? But it doesn't have to be perfectly centered over the roof of your barn unless you're that person. If you're that person, then you're going to center it. So, just going to do a little triangle roof. Grab some more white paint, and then underneath that little, little piece hanging off here, you're going to do another triangle coming out. You want to stop about halfway from the side of your barn, and then pull that in, and color that part in. Okay? And the more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get. So try not to play too much. If you notice as I'm playing, it's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> That's what happens. The more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get. <laughs> so we don't want to do that much playing. All right, guys. So there you go. There's the start of your little buildings right there. There they are. Once you have those, and you know, yours are going to be straight. I'm painting from the side, so mine are going to be crooked, 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 which I'm fine with. So, but you guys looking straight onto your paintings, you could probably get them nice and straight for yourself, so you're good to go. All right, so once you have that, we're going to take out Fluffy again. So, swirl tap dab them really good. And like I said, when you do your barn, make sure you leave a space right here. All right, I got about a hand's worth of space right there from the bottom of my barn. So you're going to swirl tap that fluffy. All right, mash them up in your paper towel. Mash them, mash them, mash them. Make sure all the green's out of them. Okay, get them nice and fluffy again. And you need clean white paint, so I'm going to grab some more clean white paint for myself. So I want to grab clean white and smush, smush, smush. And I want to grab yellow and smush, smush, smush. All right, maybe a little more clean white, smush, 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 right? Don't have a lot of paint on here. Very small amount of paint on Fluffy, right? Make sure you smush and wipe the excess out of them. So you want to smush to have them fluffy, but you don't want much paint on them, okay? And you want more white than yellow. More white than yellow. And then with an extremely light touch, you're going to come over to this side. And you're just going to pull up and do a little flick, okay? So, you're just going to pull up and do a little flick. 
very, very light touch, very small amount of paint. Right? If you wind up getting a big glob, wipe your brush off and just go back, go back on top of it and, and flick it out. Alright? So if you wound up getting a big old glob, just wipe your brush off and flick it out. Okay? No worries. No worries. So you want to do that. And then you want to make rows, okay? So make it look like rows. So you're going to do a little space here and do some flicks from down here. Okay? Not a lot of paint at all. You notice I didn't even refill my brush up again. I didn't even refill my brush up. So not a lot of paint, doing a lot of flicks. You want it nice and fluffy, okay? That's the term for fluffy, fluffy brush, right? So I need to grab a little bit more paint. I'm gonna do another row, right? So put like a finger between your rows and you're just gonna do these little fluffy flicks. How technical is that, right? We're just gonna do little fluffy fit flicks, little fluffy flicks. Try to say that five times fast, <laughs> right? Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Alright, so that's row number three. Grabbing more paint. Making sure I dab, dab, dab. Put in another row. So I made this one a little shorter because my road was there. So it's kind of like the road was cutting in there. So I just made this one a little shorter. Alright, got another row. And I'm going to make this one a little shorter because my road's right there. Put in another row. So you can have as much as this as you want or as little. It's your farm, so it's all up to you. I'm just going to keep doing this until I hit my, my brown stripe on the bottom. All right? And each row, I'm moving in a little bit more and more because the road's there. So we're going to move it in a little bit more and more each row. All right, guys? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Look at you guys making a farm. Oh yeah. Right? This is not hard at all. You guys got this. You guys got this. No worries. Alright. So once you have that, I just want you to turn around and you're going to mash Fluffy. Don't clean them. Just mash them out. Get the excess paint out of them. Just mash them out. Just mash them out. And you're going to come up to your trees. And we're going to add another layer of trees. So if the, any of those branches you messed up before, now's your chance to cover them. Now's your chance to cover them. So I'm just going to grab my blue. Small amount. Tiny amount of blue, right? And I'm going to mash, mash. And I'm going to grab my yellow. I'm going to mash, mash. Right? And with a very, very light touch, I'm going to go back into my trees. And here, there, not everywhere. Like I said, unless you mess the branch up. If you mess the branch up, then, you know, you definitely want to put some more smushes. But you're doing your second layer. And you're just going to have uh, blue and yellow on your brush. Okay? So, you're doing another layer of color. And this is going to add the, the light. The light and the dark on your trees. You can practice grabbing just yellow now. If you want to grab just yellow now. Put some little pops of little ye just yellow on there. Alright. And here, there, not everywhere. You don't want it to become a mushy mess. If you notice, I'm not going over it a lot. I'm sticking and moving. And I'm just smushing this in. That's it. That's all we're doing. I'm going to grab my blue again, do a little mash mash, grab my yellow, do a little mash mash, do my other tree now. So, putting another layer on my trees here. Here, there, not everywhere. Like I said, if you muffed up a branch, definitely cover it. Now I'm going to grab just yellow. Just yellow. Put that in. Just, just, just yellow. And like I said, if you came in late, 
You can always go back and add your trees later. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They're over here floating on their lonesome, so nothing we do is going to affect this area over here. So you guys can turn around and play around with your trees at any point during this. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Well, I went, I went, um, I went a little, um, branch happy on this tree, so I'm going to cover some of those up. <laughs> I went a little branch happy. All right, and I'm going to grab just yellow on my brush. I'm go back in and just add some pops of just the yellow. Just the yellow. Just like that, you got three little farm trees going on. Nice and easy peasy. There you guys go. Three little farm trees. Nothing hard here. Just smushing. We're just smushing. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. That's it. So I'll give you a close up. Close up. Close up. <laughs> I'll give you a close up of that. So you can see what I did. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Alright, if I'm going too fast, just let me know. But you guys are doing awesome. You guys are amazing. Great job. Great, great job. All right, so I'm going to grab my mini-me now. Remember, mini-me looked just like big boy, except he's really, really small. Right? He is a number four shader. I don't know if that helps anybody trying to match up the brush. If you guys want brushes and, and the paint I use and everything else, they're available in my kits. So you would get all of the brushes that I use every single party. So, up. Oh. So we're going to go over to the farmhouse right here. Let's go on over here. We're at the farmhouse. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm grabbing my clean white paint. Grabbing my clean white paint, and I'm going to turn around and, and uh, put my roof in. All right, so that's just a triangle. And this one you want in the center. So, you know, find your center of your house. Oh, find our center of our house. And go up and put a little dot. Right? And then do your triangle. Right? Finding our center. Oh. And then fill that in. Fill that in. No worries. Okay? Okay? And if you need the uh, second coat on your house because your background came through a little bit, it was a little too wet, put your second coat on your house right now. That's all. That's all. So our farmhouse is white, so we want this nice and filled in. I'm using the flat of the brush, following along my lines. That's all. Putting our little triangle roof on. And then we're going to come over here to this piece, and I'm just going to slant that. So I'm going to come down a little tiny bit on this side of the house, and then I'm going to slant this out. All right, just a little slant right there going on. All right, and I'm going to fill all this in. Using the flat of that brush, making nice straight lines. Just pulling. Just pulling the brush along. That's all. And then we're going to come over on this side. Right? And I have the little porch piece hanging out right here. Right? So I'm going to pull that out. Make that a little wider. And then I'm going to do, you know, give yourself a little dot. Right? Right above the edge of your, of the edge of that, uh, porch and then I'm going to come out from the side of the house to that dot 
as a slant and then cut it in. Okay, get that little roof going on there. Right, that's what the small brushes are for. That's what they're for, doing all these little detailed pieces. You know, I didn't expect you to do this tiny little farmhouse and uh, make all these shapes with the big brush. That's not going to happen. I wouldn't do that to you guys. That would just be torture. That would be some serious torture going on. All right, and then I'm going to grab some white paint. And I'm going to uh, pull along my, my palette here. Make sure it's nice and flat on my brush and just on the tip of the brush. Okay. And I'm going to turn around and put where the door is. So that's where my door is going to be eventually. So put that little square in. And then I'm going to grab my brush and again make sure there's a nice flat edge on it. And I'm going to put in the posts of the porch. So I'm just going to pull straight down nice and quick. Nice and fast like. There's one. And there's two. There they are. Right? And just pull this across. Make sure this is a nice clean edge. Right? Fill it in with some more white paint. Make sure it's nice and not see-through. Alright, so just filling it in with some more white paint. And make sure it's not see-through. There you guys go. There you go. Alright, Ruth from Puerto Rico and Doreen and Cheryl from Minnesota. We got Denise from Virginia. Penny is here. Jackie, Sheila's hanging out with us. Kelly's going to watch the replay. Punky's going to watch the replay. And Lori, but they're just chilling with us. So, hello, hello, everybody. And if you didn't say hello yet, you're being a little creeper. Say hello, hello, hello. Okay, so we're going to go over to our, um, our barn now. I'm going to go over to our barn now, and we're going to grab some black and white, so a little bit of black and some of your white paint, so a little bit of black and some of your white paint, still using Mini-Me, right, and I'm not going to over mix it, I want the color separate, hi, Punky, Punky, what are you doing, you're in Pittsburgh, nice. So, on this triangle right here, I'm just going to put in uh, dabs of gray. All right, just grab some black with my white, and I'm just going to dab in some gray here. All right? And, you know, if you get the separation of color, cool. Cool. So, I'm just dabbing in some gray in that spot right there. Right? And with that gray on your brush, you can go up over to your house now. And with that same gray on your brush, you can uh, put the gray in on uh, this, this roof right here too. Okay, so use the flat of that brush, follow down the side of the house here. And you can put the gray on. that roof. Hi, Magna! How you doing, sweetie? Hello, sweetheart! We're having fun. We're building farmhouses. We're just doing all sorts of cool stuff. We got some new family members. We got all sorts of good things going on here, Magna. All sorts of good things. So, I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush, get all the globs off of him. And we're going to come over to the roof over here, the gray roof we just made. And we're going to grab our brown and grab a little bit of white with it because brown doesn't like to show up very easily. And, you know, we can go back in and darken it later. So we're going to grab our gra grab some brown and some white. And coming off of this piece right here, 
Hey, Sandra. Bye, Magna. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Lisa. How you guys doing? Sandra and Lisa are here. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so we're going to take our brown paint with our, our flat brush here, and we're just going to go swoop straight down from the edge. Ready? Swoop. Straight down. Fast you go, straighter it'll be. And stop when you hit the bottom of your barn. And then you're going to come over here, and you're going to make a smaller line. Swoop. Right to there. Okay? Hello, 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 everybody. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. All right, so with that smaller line, you're going to do two lines going across to your barn. And then from where those two lines are, you're going to turn around and go at an angle up to the pole in the front. Alright, so I did two lines here, and then I did two lines kind of at a little mini angle up. And then you're going to go from here, and you're going to go right to the barn. Okay, so shoop, right across. And swoop right across. And you know what? If you wind up covering some of those other lines, it's fine. No worries. No worries. No worries. If they wind up all blending together, it's fine. We're not going to stress it. We're not going to stress it. Then I want you to grab the smallest amount of black like microscopic amount of black on your brush with your brown like tiny 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 amount and I want you to turn around and put that in this post right here and then skip over that slat and put it in here right so the tiniest amount of black and then you're gonna turn around and whatever Whatever slat you have showing, the back one, you're going to put a little bit of darker paint there. And a little bit of darker paint there. And then you can come down from this top one a little bit. Not much now. There's hardly any left on my brush now. So I'm just making sure... The parts that are in front are in front, and the parts that are in the back are in the back. That's all I did with that. What'd you have for dinner, Lisa? Anything good? Anything good? You want to make me jealous? What'd you have for dinner? I know you're an awesome cook. Alright, so let's put the tiny brush away for a bit, right? So we don't get, give ourselves an aneurysm. And let's get out big boy. So swirl tap that big boy. And if you're making your barn red, we're going to grab our red paint. And you're going to color in your barn. Swoop. Easy peasy. So if you're making your barn red, we're going to color in our barn. Right? And since we put the white paint down first, this red's really going to pop really gonna pop and I like it I like it a lot oh yeah nice big old red barn we like it we like it a lot I'm not gonna stretch my I'm not gonna stress my edges too much because we, we were gonna outline all these buildings so I'm not really stressing my edges too much so, but I'm placing my brush right on the edge here, and then I'm just pulling. I'm just pulling. That's all I'm doing. 
So I just put the brush right on the edge and I just pull. Okay, use the flat of that brush. That's why we like a one inch flat brush. We're using the flat of that brush to try to stay in our lines as much as possible. Now, you guys that have painted with me before, you know I'm not very good at coloring in the lines, but I know that we're outlining this building, so I'm not gonna stress it too much. But I love this pop of red. It's so bold and fun. And red's my favorite color, so I am totally digging this right now. Oh yeah. Totally digging this. Yes, yes, yes. I am. So there we go. Now I want you to swirl tap dab fluffy and, and we're going to go over to our uh, tall grass right here. We're going to go over to our tall grass right here. If you notice, I'm hopscotching you guys around the canvas. So whatever we do, this has a, a time to dry. And then we're going to constantly keep working our way around the canvas to do our details. So this way, um, these parts are drying as we're working on it. And then we could go back and work on the other part. All right, so I'm going to swirl tap dab my fluffy. Make sure all the green is out of him. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun and enjoying this painting. I, I probably could never live here because my allergies are so bad, but it would be fun. <laughs> It'd be fun to visit. I'll just take my, uh, I'll just take my, uh, you know, my allergy medicine with me <laughs> in bulk. <laughs> I'll just take my allergy medicine with me, like in bulk, like 30, 30 day supply for about a week's visit. <laughs> and we can hang out. We can hang out on the farm together. All right, so right here, I'm going to grab uh, red and yellow. A little bit of red. And some yellow. Okay, a little bit of red and some yellow. And you're going to go back over your fluffies, and you're going to flick, the, uh, flick them in so they're a nice, pretty orange color. Now flick this in so it's a nice, pretty orange color. So I'm just flicking up. I'm just flicking up, following those rows that I made before, grabbing the red and the yellow, and we're flicking, baby. We're just flicking. That's all we're doing. Following those rows that I made before, grabbing red and yellow, and we're flicking. Flick, 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 flicky, flick, flick, flick. flick. Flick, flick, flicky, flick, 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 flicky, flick. Years ago, when I used to train race horses, we had a woman from the local news station come to our farm to do a story. After she got there, she told us she was highly allergic to like everything, dust, dirt, hair, etc. It was so bad she actually had to leave the barn, and we had to finish doing the talking part of the story up at the house. Oh well, I can totally relate to her. 6,000% punky. Totally relate to that. So, we're just flicking from our rows, that's all. So, you want to keep, you want to keep, uh, you know, following your rows that you made before. And you want to make sure this is a light orange color. So, if it's coming out too red, like those just did, on me, I'm just going to grab more yellow paint. I'm just going to grab more yellow paint, that's all. Because you want this to be a, a, a light orange color. Right? And this is how we fix stuff. We use our fingers. I'm using my fingers and I'm just blending that right out. Ah! <laughs> Making messes, that's what I do. I just got to tan. I just tanned my fingers. <laughs> Just put a tan on my finger. That's what I did. So let me try doing this without grabbing that much red paint again. <laughs> but that's how we fix stuff around here. No worries. No worries. 
All right. So there we go. Got our uh, field in there. All right, guys. So roll call time. Say hello, hello, hello. If you're painting, if you didn't say hello yet, we got Ruth. We got Doreen, Cheryl in Minnesota, Denise in Virginia, Penny's in the house, Jackie, Sheila, Sandra, Lisa came by, Kelly's hanging out, Punky, Lori, Magna was just on. You guys all wore my heart, hanging out as a fam, enjoying our Friday night. Mwah! Oh, <laughs> I just, did I get paint on me? <laughs> surprise, surprise if I did, right? Surprise, surprise. All right, guys. So we have that done. And uh, let's turn around and we're going to uh, put our plow in. Let's put in the plow. So the plow's a little tricky. So make sure you're paying attention. All right, so we're going to grab that uh, brown and white paint. And let's grab a uh, tiny, a small round brush. Let's grab our small round brush. Sandra's from Tennessee. Sandra from Tennessee. Hey, sweetheart. I went to Tennessee on a, a trip once. It's absolutely gorgeous. I had such a good time. So I'm taking my small round brush and I'm going to grab some white and I'm going to grab my brown. I'm going to grab some white and brown. And you want to roll, roll this brush so you make sure you have a nice point on it. All right, guys. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put two lines uh, coming towards each other. So like a triangle on its side, all right? So you're going to put a line this way. And then you're going to put another line going towards the same spot. All right? And then I'm going to grab my brown paint. And then where these guys meet, I'm just going to make this a little darker so you can see it. So once I have those two lines, I'm going to grab, I'm going to make two lines this way, All right? So I'm going to put one here and then stopping when I hit the bottom and then I'm going to put one really close to it. Okay, so you're going to put two lines that way. And then once you have those two lines, you're going to put an angle on this one and an angle on this one so they meet up. And then you're going to do a triangle off of that. Okay. And then I want you to grab a little bit of black paint with your brown. Remember when we did the, the barn wood? So we're doing the same thing here. So grab a little black paint with your brown. Microscopic amount, guys. Because we're going to do the pieces that are in the back. All right, so this one's in the back. So you're going to fill that in and skip over your pole. And then... Just the one pole, skip over that and paint across the other pole. Okay, so you're going to add dark brown there. And I'm grabbing a little, little bit of black with my brown, just making it a darker brown, not nothing crazy. And then the pole I didn't skip over, I'm going to paint that darker and paint this piece darker. And then paint this little piece of the triangle darker. Okay. So, let you guys uh, do that for a minute. I don't want to rush you through the plow. I know it looks a little tricky. So, you just put those lines in. You put those lines meeting each other. And then you put the two lines coming down this way. And then you do a triangle off of that. And then you're going to make your brown paint a little darker and you're going to go this one, this piece right here, down here, right, skipping over, and then the little piece of the plow right there. I know it's a little tricky, but you guys can do it. I know you can do it. 
I, I know you can do it. I got faith in you. I got faith in you. You can do it. All right. This part right here is the center of the wheel. All right. So this piece is the center of your wheel. Okay. So you're going to go parentheses or whatever you want to call this around that part and you're going to skip over the lighter colored sideways piece of wood here skip over that okay so you're going to skip over that and then do the parentheses coming around this way all right Okay, so you guys did it. See, you can totally do a plow. I got faith in you. You can totally do a plow. All right, so now we're going to turn around and we're going to put in our, uh, our horse and buggy. And then the whole rest of this session, I'm just going to be jumping you guys around, adding details, details, and details. Okay, so we're going to get our horse and buggy in here so we know exactly where it is. And then we're going to turn around and just keep adding details to all of our different pieces. All right, guys? So we're going to do that. So take a big, deep breath. Whew, do a little woosah, right? Shake it out. Whew, right? Because this will <laughs> get a little stressful when you're doing all these little pieces. Awesome, Sandra. Yeah, absolutely. You guys have to have fun. And, and I'll create and make sure that you just make sure you keep having fun with it. Don't get stressed out. Uh, you can always paint right back over it. And uh, you guys can do this. I know you can do it. It's I got fullest confidence in you guys. So we're going to shake it out. We're going to woosaw it out, right? Because we got we to gotta make a horse. Got to make a horse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're totally going to make a horse. You're going to be great. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> you guys can do it. You can do it. <laughs> All right. So we're right here, right in this sweet spot, right here. Okay, guys, we're going to do our horse. So make sure you have your brown, and we're going to make it like some parts a little darker brown, and you want to make sure you have your black. Okay, so your black and your brown. And we're going to use, um, we're going to use tiny, so our small round brush. All right, guys? So I'll give you a chance. Finish up anything that you were working on so far, so everyone's ready for any spaghetti. You're all paying attention for when I give the uh, horse and buggy instructions. All right, so fill your drinks. Fill your drinks. Yeah, thank you so much, Sandra. Yeah, you guys can totally do this. You got this. And I'm sure you're used to seeing horses in Tennessee. Make sure you're paying attention to your brush. Make sure there's no globs on your brush. You still have a point, okay? Keep checking that as you're painting. Because if you have globs on your brush, you're going to get globs on your painting. So, I want, I'm going to grab a little bit of white with my brown. A little bit of white with my brown. Roll my brush. Make sure I have a nice point. I'm going to turn around. And the first thing I'm going to do is put a swoop line in for the neck and the body of the horse. So you want to make sure you do the swoop line about a hand up from the bottom of your canvas. Because you want to leave room for his legs. Alright guys? So make sure you start from the bottom of your canvas. And you're just going to turn around. Make sure you leave room on the bottom of your canvas. I agree, Sandra. She explains things very well. Score! <laughs> Thanks, Punky. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start over here, and we're going to swoop. Swoop. Just like that. And make sure you're leaving room for your buggy. Make sure you're leaving room for your legs. Okay? 
So you're just swooping that first part in. And then once you have that swoop, if you went a little too low, that's okay. You can go up a little higher, right? Because we got we to gotta paint a body in there. So if you went a little too low, it's okay. You can go up a little higher. It's, no, it's all good. And then from this part that you swooped right there, let me move you guys in. Close up. Let me move you in so you can see what I'm doing. So this part that you swooped right there, you're just going to bring that around. And you're going to do a line out that way. Okay, so kind of looking like a dinosaur right now. Okay, and once you have that, you're going to come in here and you're going to swoop down this way. Then you're going to bring this straight down. You're going to bring that straight down. Okay. <laughs> hey, you both can say it. I don't mind. You both can say that I do pretty well. I don't mind the compliment. All right, so once you go straight down like that, make sure this line stays thin. You're going to turn around and you're going to come down a little way here, out at an angle, and then do a piece upwards. Make sure these lines stay pretty thin, okay, because these are his legs, so we don't want them to get really, really big. Okay, once you have that in... You're going to come across this way, and then you're going to swoop up towards the back. Then right where that skinny part starts, you're going to come down. You're going to come down, and then you're going to do an angle this way. All right, and when you do these, you want to make sure like this and this spot is hitting the same spot on the ground, okay? So when you do that little, when you pull down and then do that little angle, make sure that it's going to hit at the same spot on the ground as the other as the other leg. All right, and you're just putting that in, and then you're going to follow around this bend, and you're going to put a line going straight out this way. Right. So once you have all those pieces in, you want to turn around and you're going to follow down your neck. You're going to bring this around and then you're going to bring this in to attach to that that part that went straight out. And fill that all in. And then you're going to fill this in like a triangle right here. And then you're going to color all this in. You're going to color all this in right here. Make sure you're leaving that swoop upwards. And if your neck's a little thick, it's okay because we could cover it with hair. You're going to bring this up. Right, and file this down, make this like a little triangle right here. And then you're gonna fill in this piece over here like a little bit. Okay. And then you're gonna bring this piece up all the way. And like I said, if your neck's too thick, we can just cover it with hair, it's all good all good no worries 
All right, now you want to gauge where your head is. Is your head is this going to be the bottom line of your head or the top line of your head? It all depends on on the how your horse came out. So you know, you just want to judge it. All right? And you're going to do a little swoopy cheek. So you're going to swoop a little cheek in there. And then you're just going to bring this around and down. Then you're going to add an ear here and an ear there. Okay, now I want you to grab that minuscule amount, grab some uh, black, All right? You're going to grab some black paint, and like I said, if you made your neck too thick, this is your chance to fix it, all right? So you can come off from that ear, and you're just going to swoop some uh, hair in here. So if your neck was too thick, just fix it. Just cover it up. It's all okay. It is all good. And you grab your black paint and then do a little bit right in here. And then you're going to come off his badonka donk back here. You're going to pull out straight a little bit. And then fluff in all these pieces. There you go. I like that idea. <laughs> Just say it's a draft horse. You guys are fine. Right, and then I'm going to turn around and wipe it off my brush, getting the globs off my brush, and I'm going to put his little hooves on. So this is a straight line and a little little curves right there. And then this is comes down at an angle, comes across. And this is a little hoof right here. And come over here put this hoof here so you know and if your legs weren't all at the same distance then turn around when you put your hooves on and fix it right that's the whole part that makes it look uh, awesome okay now I want you to take that little bit of black Wipe your brush off if it's too much. Grab that darker brown again, right? So a little bit of black and that brown together. Small, small amount. And you're going to come in here. And you're going to follow the line from this leg. And you're going to turn around and put the darker brown paint right in here. And then you can grab some of the regular colored brown paint. And you just kind of zigzag it back and forth to blend it together. Okay, and then I'm going to take my darker, my black and my brown together. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make this part darker. Make sure you don't have any globs on your brush because I just had globs on my brush. I was just about to make a whole big old mess. All right, I'm just going to zigzag this in over here. And then you can blend with your finger if you want to. You blend it out with your finger if you want to. See, I'm just smushing with my finger. Or you wipe your brush off and grab some of that regular brown. And you just zigzag with the regular brown. Just zig a zag a zoom. That's all I'm doing. Just zig a zag a zooming. Okay, see, I told you you guys you had this, so I'm just going to add some dark brown onto his ears here. All 
Right, and a little dark brown nostril. Okay, now we're gonna do our um, our buggy, and then we're gonna do our details on our whole painting. So, yes, you did it! Woo! You painted a horse, everybody. I'm sure yours looks better than mine. It's a little tricky painting from the side. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but you guys did it. Good job. We've only been painting about an hour and we already have a farmhouse, a barn, wheat, horse, plow. We're rocking and rolling, everybody. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna grab big boy. Oh, so we'll tap that big boy. And I'm going to go right into my black paint. Make sure it's just on the tip, guys. Just the tip of the brush. And uh, you're going to come in here and right behind your horse. So about halfway down the leg of your horse, okay? You turn around and put in, you know, whatever you left room for. So mine was a little close to the edge so my buggy is going to wind up going right off the edge of the canvas which is okay which is fine you know it's a little uh you know the original i fit the whole thing in but this one i was a little close so it's all good all right so you're just going to put a square going that way and then you're going to do a straight line going up and you want the straight line to stop right about the head of your horse so follow that across all right, you're just gonna pull straight up. Okay, and then across. And if your buggy stops, then you know, stop before you hit the edge. Mine's going right over the edge. We're going over the edge tonight, people. That's all there is to it. All right, once I have that part in, I'm just going to swoop, fill in the side of the buggy right here. Right, just like that. And then I'm going to make the top part be a little thicker. So we're going to make the top part be a little thicker. Right? And if you're ever painting and your paint is like lifting off instead of sticking, just let it dry a little bit first and then go back and paint on it again. Like sometimes if it's um, if it's still too wet and you try to paint on top of it, I don't know why acrylic does that every once in a while. Just let it dry a little bit first and you'll be fine. All right, so once I have that, I'm going to pull Big Boy nice and smooth and get them nice and thin on the edge all right so we're going to pull them nice and smooth on the side of your palette and get them nice and thin on the edge see nice thin crisp line right there and i'm going to hold back here a little bit so there's not much pressure and i'm going to come off right over here from where this meets that and i'm going to go straight into the middle of my horse all right, so if you want to start at the middle of your horse and go that way or this way to that way, whatever you're more comfortable doing. You just want to make the middle of your horse, pull it along, attach to the buggy. All right, and then you want to do another one about the neck of your horse. You're going to do a line and have this one go in into the buggy. Right, so you want those two lines going on, and I just used Big Boy, and this bottom one should be thicker than that top one, because this one's just reins. So if you can get a nice thin line there, that would be good. Right, and this bottom one should be thicker, because it's actually part of the buggy. All right, so we're gonna turn around and we're gonna do the details on our farmhouse now and do our little windmill. So everybody get out your um, your small brushes. So as we go around and do our details, we're gonna be using our small brushes. So I'm gonna be using Mini Me, I'm gonna be using Tiny, and I'm gonna be using Mr. Nifty. All right, so make sure you guys all have your small brushes on deck and they're all nice and clean. 
Mr. Nifty in the house. So if you guys want a brand new Mr. Nifty, if you got one for me already, awesome. Don't leave him in the water. He doesn't like that. And uh, if you want a Mr. Nifty, if you leave me a tip um, for my video tonight, um, I'll post the links right now because it's always, always free to watch. Tips are appreciated because art supplies ain't free, people. That's all there is to it. <laughs> so I will post the links to that. If you send me a tip, I'm going to send you two Mr. Nifties because they're awesome. All right, so make sure you have those put together. All right, so I'm going to turn around on my farmhouse back here, and I'm going to grab my black paint on my mini-me, my nice flat brush, my nice flat small brush, and I'm going to turn around and put in the squares for my windows. So I'm just putting in the little squares for my windows. Okay, there and there. Right, so you can put as many windows or as little windows as you want. It's all up to you, and I'm going to show you a trick later, so don't worry about these tiny little windows making your edges perfectly crisp. I'm going to show you a trick later, okay? So just get some tiny black squares on there the best that you can. No worries. All right, so got my little farmhouse windows going on here. Put one there. You know, and you want to make sure they're about the same size. But like I said, don't worry about getting them extra crisp because I'll show you a trick to doing that. And over here on this part of the house is two windows. And if you notice, I'm following along the same line as the other windows. You know, you want them kind of in a row. That, that's a good idea. That's a good idea to have them kind of in a row. So, putting those on right there. And I'm going to put my door, let's put my door in here. All right, so there is my door to my farmhouse. And we're going to turn around and put the windmill in. So I am going to put Mini Me away and I'm going to grab Mr. Nifty. All right, and you want to make sure your paint is nice and loose and thin and flowing nicely. And you're just going to dunk a good old tiny or your tiniest, tiniest brush you have. Or if you have Mr. Nifty, go for it. So I'm going to take Mr. Nifty and I'm going to go up here and make sure that it hits the top of this house right here. And don't touch your windows because you're going to smudge your windows all in your house. So I'm just going to put whoop, a line going down that way, grab more paint, whoop, another one, okay, and then faster you go, straighter they'll be, whoop, putting in another one right there, alright, so three little lines going on. And then you're going to do like a little circle. And you want to put fins on it like that. Alright, like little triangles. Just coming out like hands of a clock. Okay, just coming out from that center like little hands of a clock. And you want one of the fins to come out with just the line. And then you're going to do a little square on the back part. That's like the, the piece that churns the windmill in the wind. I, for, I don't know what you call that piece. But you want to add that piece on there. Alright guys. Shoop, shoop. So just putting these in nice and easy peasy. Nothing hard here. Just coming out like hands of a clock. That's all you're doing. Just like that, you guys made a windmill. Just like that. And then with your Mr. Nifty, you can turn around and, and put in your, uh, your roof on this guy right there. 
I'm gonna outline the side of the house right here. So just make sure you have nice loose loose paint. You know, if it's getting a little globby, add a little water to it. Make sure you're using a very small brush with a good point. Right? Make sure there's no globs on that brush. All right, so I'm going to do the line down this side of the house. Shoop, bring it on down. Bring it on down, just like that. Line on this side of the house. Shoop. Do my roof. My roof on this side. Right, outline the ceiling, outline this one right here. I'm going to outline this part. Right. Okay, so we have our windmill and our little farmhouse, and now we're going to do some more details on the barn. All right, so still using Mr. Nifty here. I'm going to outline my gray roof. All right, just Mr. Nifty and some nice loose black paint. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. And then you want to go straight down. Notice I'm moving my hand, not the brush. So you can do a straighter line if you just pull your hand straight down. You just move your hand, not the brush. Okay, guys? That's the secret to doing straight lines. Okay, now I'm going to do my line across the bottom here. Right, line down the side. Right, then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do my um, my doors. Right, so halfway down, just want to paint your doors in. Right, whatever design you want to give them, that's up to you. Do little doorknobs, whatever you want, little stripes on them barn doors and then up here on top you're going to do follow this straight up and you're going to do a square you're going to do a square and then coming off at an angle you're going to go come off on an angle like that and then connect that with a straight line down all right and then if you want to fill that in with stripes that's fine Okay, so you want to do that little window that the hay is coming out of right there. All right, so you're just going to make a square. Okay. Now we're going to come over here to our, our hay. All right, so I'm going to swirl tap dab Mr. Nifty and put him to the side. Like I said, he doesn't like being in the water. All right, give you guys a chance to catch up mustard here a little bit. Give you a little chance to catch up mustard. Hope you guys are doing amazing and having fun. Now we got, we're into all the little details to make this your own very farm. So you guys do your details the way you'd like to do them. I'm going to show you how I did all the little details. And we're going to call this a done painting. Yes. 
So we're going to go into, um, I want you to turn around. You're going to grab, um, you can grab, let's see, let's grab tiny, right? And you're going to grab your white paint. You're going to grab tiny and you're going to grab your white paint. Clean white paint. That's what you're grabbing, guys. So I got tiny here and I got my clean white paint. And what you want to do is you're going to come out. And again, move your hand, not the brush. Make sure this is dry before you rub your hand on it. And you're just going to come out and put these little pieces going all weird directions. And then you're going to turn around and do little flicks out. Little flicks out. Those are like the little wheat stalks, okay? So you're going to add these wherever you like in your, in your stalks here. And then the bottom part, just have it like disappear. Remember those rows you made before? You want to kind of stick to where those rows end. All right. So I'm going to grab white paint. And I'm going to put a few coming out from the side of here. So, you know, it's up to you. However you want to put them in. And you just do the little pieces coming out at an angle on the top. All right, so you can add as many of these or as little as these as you want. So I'm just going to put these in. Nice and easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, make sure there's no globs on your brush. And you're going to, you know, you can put some straight up and down if you want to. You can put some, you know, however you want to put them. All right, so there's a piece there. And we're going to do this part right here. Boop, boop, boop. Do, 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 right? Just putting all these little fun little, uh, so I had to look up. I did a lot of research for this painting, guys, because, um, I wasn't, you know, I, I was, I don't, was I to Amish country? Yeah, I, I was out in Pennsylvania, and, and I didn't go to, uh, see Amish country, but we were driving through it. But, um, so, but I, like, researched the farms and the buggies, and, like, I had to look everything up <laughs> so I can make sure I show you guys how to paint an Amish farm. And so I looked up what they actually grow, and wheat is their, the top one that they grow. They also do, like, tobacco and beans, and then they do, uh, feed for the horses and their animals that they have. So I learned a lot. It was very, very interesting, actually. So, anyway, just a little tidbit for you guys there. Just a little tid titty bit. So, it was very fun. And I had a look, I, had, I looked up a lot of stuff. So, I hope you're enjoying this uh, Amish country painting as much as I am. You know, doing all the little details is the fun part now. All right, so we're going to just, uh, so you're mapping these all in white. And like I said, you can put them here or there, wherever you want. You know, kind of try to match your rows, like the rows that you made. All right? And then once this dries, we're going to go over them. You know, you want a darker color than what your grass is. So mine are going to be on the red side. So you want a darker color than what the little grass is that you made before. Hi, Sandra. Is that the only way we can see? Yeah, so I have those, um, I have those three things. PayPal might, might work better for you, hon. And, uh, so I have those three links. Thank you, by the way, so much for the support. And, um, I've had people actually mail me. <laughs> They've actually mailed me, like, checks and stuff. So that was kind of cool. You know, so if you're going inside your buggy here, all right, but you might uh, work out better with uh, trying PayPal because Cash App, uh, I don't know why Cash App's not doing that. So, yeah, so, you know, that's okay if you can't figure out how to get it to work, sweetie. I appreciate the, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, all right, so added those things in there. And now I'm going to go, um, with the white paint, I'm going to go over to the farmhouse. And this is the trick, guys. Remember I said don't worry about getting your, uh, your windows and everything perfectly straight? Because 
Now you can take your white paint and you just run it across. You run it across the tops and the sides of your windows and you can get them to be perfect little squares with perfect little edges. Okay, so that's the tip. So whenever you guys are doing a house or anything, don't worry about getting your windows and stuff perfect because you just turn around and go down the sides and the, and the tops and the bottoms with the house color and you can straighten them all out. You can straighten them all out. So if you have a window or the door or whatever might not be perfectly straight, you just put the house color around it and straightens it right out. Right? So I'm going to add a little bit in here. All right? Fix my little swoop swoops there. Fix these windows right here. See? Nice and easy. Just like that. And that's what spit's for. If you color out of the lines, you know me and coloring out of the lines. <laughs> so that's what a little bit of spit's for. Okay, so, and if you want to put the, the bars in your windows, you can put the bars in your windows. Alright, so just follow down. You put the crosses in your windows, all that good stuff. And then, you know, wipe off your brush and grab some uh, blue and yellow paint. All right, blue and yellow paint. Wipe off your brush and grab some blue and yellow paint. And then on the bottom of your house, you want to turn around and do all these little flicks of grass. Okay, so at the bottom of your house, you're just going to do the smallest little flicks of grass. So that's why I told you don't worry about your edges because you're going to cover them up, right? So I just grabbed blue and white paint and I'm doing all these little flicks. That's it. Right there. Easy peasy. Just like that. Fixes the whole bottom edge of your, of your house there. Okay? All right. So now we can go over to our barn. Sorry earthquake and I'm going to grab um, scroll tap dab your brush and I'm going to grab some white paint and out of this window I'm going to just do these little swoops like this swoopy swoopies we love the swoopies so I'm just doing little swoops like that of the white paint okay scroll tap dab my brush I'm gonna uh, go right, I'm gonna go back into my black and I'm gonna outline my roof. Okay, so I'm gonna outline my roof. So any of those edges you guys were stressing before, no worries, no worries. And straight across, remember now, move your hand, not the brush, right? So I'm placing my brush on there and I'm just moving my hand straight across. Notice, move my hand, not the brush, and you'll get a straight line. And the faster you go, the straighter it's going to be. Okay, guys? So make sure you remember that. And then on the bottom of this, I'm going to add all those little pieces of grass. So again, scroll tap, dab your brush. Grab your blue and your yellow. And you can go where your little fence posts are. Put a couple dabs in there. And come over here and put some dabs. And then you can put it on the, um, the bottom of your, your barn here. Okay, so I did some blue, and now I'm going to grab some yellow. Throw some yellow on top of those. Just like that. Alright, so we have that all taken care of. And I'm going to come down to my plow, 
And I gotta add the spokes in, so I'm gonna grab my Mr. Nifty and I'm gonna grab my brown and black paint from before. All right, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of black and I'm gonna grab some of this brown. And I'm gonna put my spokes in, so hands of a clock, guys. So just put those in for yourself coming out of that center. Coming out of that center, you're just going to put these in for yourself. And if you need to fix your circle a little bit, fix your circle. So just like hands of a clock, guys, that's how you put these spokes in. Swoop, 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 swooping in some spokes. Oh, yeah. Hey, if you need to fix your circle a little bit, whatever you need to do, you know, schmooze away. We're schmoozing right now, guys. We're doing all the schmoozing stuff. Oh, yeah. Schmoozing away. All right. So, we're going to come back over to our buggy, and I want to show you the back half of it on the finished painting. Okay, guys? So, you can see the back half. So, if you need to copy what the back half looks like. If yours actually fits in the painting there you go all right I just did a straight line down and then I did like a little bump right there that was it so that's up to you and I'm gonna grab tiny I'm gonna grab tiny and I'm gonna grab some white with some blue and I'm gonna have it be a lot of blue and a little bit of white and I'm gonna put in the pants of my Amish guy. So I'm putting in the pants of my Amish guy. And then I'm going to grab a lot more white and put in his shirt. So just his arms hanging out. It's just his arms hanging out. And if you wind up going into your black a little bit, that's fine. It's black. You can paint right over it. Okay, so we're just putting his arm hanging out right there. Okay. And then we're going to do our wheels. Do our wheels. So I'm going to grab my brown and my black together. Get a nice, nice dark brown. And right here on the corner, we're going to put a wheel there. Right, so this is the center of your wheel right there. And then you're just going to, whoop, right, do a circle as best as you can. It's a buggy wheel. They don't, they're not, you know, they don't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to do a circle, right? You can do a parentheses of parentheses. You can just follow your hand going around like this because... The more times you go around, the more circular your body will actually auto-correct and make it nice and circular. So I'm in Tom's River, New Jersey, Sandra. So I'm in Southern Jersey. I am um, about an hour or so away from New York, from an hour or so west of Pennsylvania, and an hour or so north of Atlantic City. <laughs> so I'm right, right in the middle of everything. So I'm going to come over here, and since my buggy is off the side of my canvas, I'm just going to do a half circle. I'm just going to do a half circle, that's all. You know, if, you're, if your buggy's all the way on the canvas, then there you go. All right, guys? So just doing a little half circle there. And then I'm going to do my spokes. So just pull out. Like hands of a clock. Hands of a clock, that's all. PayPal wanted to know? <laughs> that is so funny. Thank you so much, Sandra. You're awesome. <laughs> PayPal wanted to know where I'm at. <laughs> 08757 is the zip code. I don't know why 
why these apps are getting so weird lately. They're doing all this weird stuff lately. I don't understand why. I really don't. All right, guys, you're all hanging tough with me. We got one more pass of doing details, and then we're going to be all set. So we've got one more little pass of details that we have to add. And you guys are done with your Amish countryside. All right, guys? So we're done with our house. You know, unless you just want a few things to fix. The barn. The barn, we have to add the um, red and yellow. And if you want some white, if you can still kind of see through it, that's up to you. But you're going to just grab some red and yellow on tiny. And I'm going to come up in here and I'm going to put the color of the hay on that white. All right, so just grab some red and yellow. And put the hay in there. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> And then I'm going to take some black paint, so I'm going to grab Mini Me, and I'm going to take some black paint, and I'm going to fill in the rest of the window with the black paint. Okay, so now the barn's done. For the plow, all we have to do is put the little tufts of grass, so I'm going to grab uh, Tiny. And I'm going to grab my blue, white, and yellow. I'm going to grab my blue, white, and yellow. I'm actually just grabbing from the big old mess on my palette. See, this no, This is when you know you've been painting, when you have a mess like that. So I hope all you guys have an awesome, creative mess yourselves. Because that means you were having fun. And I'm just going to go right here and put the little tufts of grass right here on, on that part. Right there. Right? Because it's, uh, if the wheat's already growing, you know, and you can go back in here and play. You know what I mean? This is your painting and your details, whatever you want to add or, you know, it's, it's your farm. It's your farm now. You created a world just for yourself and you can have a lot of fun adding all these little things, whatever you'd like. All right. So we're going to go over here and I'm going to grab a lot of red and a little bit of yellow. So a lot of red and a little bit of yellow so I can see it, so I can see it against my grass. And I'm going to come back where I did all that white before, and I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to fill it in with the reddish, the reddish orange. All right, so whatever color that you can make yours, you know, the closer to, the closer to gold or orange is, is the best bet. But you want to be able to see these, so I'm literally just coloring in everywhere I put the white before. I'm just filling these in. Right? Still following the brush strokes, still following all that. I'm just taking tiny and filling all these pieces in that were white before. And putting in my stalks of hay, or well, wheat. This is wheat. That's what they grow. They grow wheat. 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 Sweet wheat. <laughs> All right. So put that in there. You guys are rocking and rolling tonight. You're hanging tough. You're doing an awesome job. I hope you're all having a lot of fun, and I hope you're enjoying uh, painting your farm. Because this is a really cute, fun painting, and you can do lots of little things, add your own little touches to it. If you want to add some extra little animals, like maybe in the little corral of the farmhouse, you know, add maybe another crop of uh, wheat somewhere. You know, you could always do like a sunset sky instead. Lots of fun things that you guys can do. You know, make it your own. Whatever you want to do. Maybe you want a girl in the cart. Maybe you want a girl with one of those big Amish um, skirts that they wear. That would be cute. Or maybe a couple of family members walking up the path. Right? A couple of kids playing in the, in the, in the yard, you know? Whatever you guys want to do. So, 
this is your farm and you're going to make it yours and have fun creating it. Make sure you share it to the event page because we all share as a family and we want to see uh, how you guys did, you know? How's, how's everybody, you know, we want to see, not how you did because I know you all did awesome. We want to see all your creative touches. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. 6,000%. All right, so with that yellow and red on my brush, I'm just going to grab some white with that because yellow and red and white make a peach. So I'm just going to grab some white with that and I'm going to put in our little farmer's uh, hand here. So there's his hand. Holding the reins there, right? And now I'm going to grab um, I'm going to grab let's see eh, I'll keep using Tiny he's doing right to, by me so far so a clothesline nice idea Sandra I like that idea definitely a clothesline would be really cool so I'm just I just took Tiny I scroll tap dabbed them got them nice and clean make sure I have a nice point on them and in my horse, where the one bar was, I want to do a semicircle, okay, like this, going around the, the horse's body, right? And then where this, this line met, I want to do a semicircle going around the horse's neck, okay? Where this, um, you know, if you need to fix this line a little bit, I'm going to put the, I'm actually going to put it in his hand. And then a little piece coming out from underneath his hand. Okay, for the reins. All right. Now I'm going to switch to Nifty. I'm going to switch to Nifty. And I'm going to come up to the horse's face. And there's a little bar going across his nose this way. And then there's a square right here where his eye would be because he's wearing those blinder things. Uh-huh right that's what I'm talking about you get creative and you can think of ways of not having to deal with certain stuff like painting a horse's eye <laughs> right that's why I said you guys give me the ideas I'll make them teachable I'll make them teachable so you want to put a little piece of those blinders on the other side and then we're going to connect them so I'm going to bring this around Bring that around, and then the little bit goes to his, into his mouth there. Okay, give him a little nostril, darken his ear a little bit, you know, whatever you guys want to do. Maybe add some more pieces to the hair, make it really wispy, make it wispy, right? Add some of these little pieces to the hair, give it some like wispy wispies. Why not? Why not, right? Having fun. Just having fun. Add maybe some to his uh, down here. Okay, guys? So, I think I showed you everything. So, if you have any questions, ask me. I think I pretty much showed you everything. I hope you all had an amazing time. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I want you to all have fun and go create. Always free to watch. Gratuities and tips are appreciated. And if you want some Mr. Nifties, because I send out two. All right, guys. And um, I just hope you had an amazing Friday night. I had an amazing time painting with you. And I want you to have fun and go create. All right? So I'm going to stay on for a few more minutes. If anybody has any questions for me, if you have any ideas for paint parties, share them with me now. Thank you so much for the hearts and love. I love it. I like it a lot. I really appreciate that. And there you go. There's our Amish country. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I hope you had fun. This was a lot of fun for me. So, I'm going to put up the... Um, I'm going to put up the original one. So, you guys can see see the details better because this one is a little bigger the pieces are a little bigger than the other one so we're gonna put that up there 
so you can see the details a little bit better. Right, as you guys are finishing up. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I had an awesome time with you as well. You have a blessed weekend, and I will see you next time. I will see you next time. There you go. Now you guys can see the whole thing. There you go. And if anybody has any ideas for a paint night that you guys would like to do, 6,000%, let me know. All right, guys? 6,000%. If you guys have any questions right now, you can ask me. We do How To Tuesdays every Tuesday. Mr. Butters is sleeping, so I tuckered him out. <laughs> He's sleeping right now. <laughs> so, and uh, if anybody, uh, everybody on the replay, Kelly and and uh, Punky and Lori and everybody else, Lisa, everybody that's catching the replay, any questions, you can message me. You can ask me any questions you'd like. And thank you, thank you so much. Ruth from Puerto Rico, Doreen, Cheryl from Minnesota, Denise from Virginia, Penny, Jackie, Sheila, Sandra from Tennessee. It was a pleasure. And Lisa, welcome to the fam, guys. Welcome. Oh, and if anybody's interested ever in the um, original paintings, these are all for sale. I could customize them any way anybody would like, and they are all, 95% um, of them are under $50. So it would be the cost of the painting and shipping and handling. So if you'd like to, um, you know, have a Eve's original as one of your pieces of art in the house, feel free to message me. So any paintings that you see on my uh, page, they are all for sale. So I can easily pack them up, ship them out, and you can have your own Eve's original. Oh, and you could always uh, purchase one and say you painted it yourself. <laughs> that would work too. <laughs> right? Because that's... Uh, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Right, guys thank you thank you so much for joining me tonight um i hope everybody has an awesome weekend have fun and go create all right y'all warm my heart mm -hmm. good night thank you